Now, ENCA anchor William Vogel is in Mahikeng for us. These are live pictures reaching us right now. We see that a crowd is moving into the area where this meeting between the president and various other stakeholders in this Mahikeng chaos are taking place. Uh, William Vogel on the ground for us. He is our senior anchor. Vuyo, tell us what you're seeing from where you're standing right now. Well, Joanne, we are seeing members of the community edging closer. Um, I'm sure you can see the pictures from uh, on your screen right now, and uh, we've got a handful of police trying to stop them. They are literally about a hundred meters or so from the gate uh, behind which uh, that meeting, uh, that Cyril Ramaphosa and uh, the rest of the top six officials of the ANC are meeting with uh, several structures of uh, both uh, the ANC and Alliance Partners, Kasatu and uh, the SACP. They kept on, they forced their way through because they were kept at uh, bay for quite a bit. People saying, uh, these people saying they are not fighting, they're just here to really pass a message that uh, they want the ANC to take their protests seriously and to do something about uh, Supra Mahumabilo, the premier of uh, this province. So it's a group that has forced its way through and uh, the police there are trying to block them from uh, coming any closer. On the face of it, it doesn't look like a violent group of people. It looks like they're simply singing in protest. Uh, are police treating this as a, as a serious threat? Well, police are, as you can see, they are now trying to really physically stop them from uh, passing that uh, sort of line that police um, have uh, uh, drawn there. But they have been saying, these people have been saying this the whole morning and, and afternoon from the time we arrived here. They kept on saying to us, please come talk to us. We're not here to fight. We're here to tell you how we feel and what we want done about uh, the issues that we've put on the table. And uh, the ANC has said as much, Robert Papella, a member of the National Executive Committee of uh, the ANC, saying earlier that uh, they've spent the past few days speaking, meeting with uh, various communities. And uh, these communities have been telling them the same thing, saying, we're not fighting with you. All we are asking you to do is listen to us. And once you've listened to what we believe is a very strong case against Supra Mahumapilo, we actually want you to do something about it. And that something is actually getting rid of him. Well, I'm looking at uh, what's going on there right now, uh, Vuyo, and, and from where we are sitting, it doesn't look like there's a massive police present, I, I, presence in that shot anyway. We are seeing the front of that armoured vehicle. J just how visible is the police presence on the ground there? There is a lot of uh, uh, police presence uh, in uh, the town, so they are spread all over the town. Yes, there isn't that big a contingent where we are. I guess uh, they didn't expect these people to come here or to go beyond that far away point where they had uh, left them. But there is quite a heavy police presence throughout the town. Remember. Um, uh, in fact, most of the police that have been deployed that uh, are here in Mahikeng and those that have been deployed from nearby towns are making, are doing whatever is possible to look after the businesses throughout town. Because remember, there's been a, a lot of looting. I mean, one uh, trader that we spoke to earlier was like broke down literally as uh, they were trying to recount their losses saying many of them had lost everything they went they left they had to leave their businesses with literally the clothes they had on them they have nowhere else to go back to their goods have been stolen uh, some of them their businesses have actually been raised to 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 the ground so a lot most of the police officers that have been deployed in the town are actually making sure that uh, the businesses that remain are also looked after uh, no and that no more damage is inflicted on them or they no no more looting actually actually continues
Michael Apple, who's in Mabata, was telling us uh, the uh, protesters are warning that there will be a particularly intense night of protests ahead if there isn't some kind of resolution found at, uh, in Heritage House among all the officials there discussing this major issue this evening. Is that a realistic expectation? Well, that's exactly what uh, they have been saying. They are here, and the people you are seeing now have been saying they are not fighting at this stage. They have heard the calls of uh, the national ANC leadership that uh, they are going to listen to them. And uh, their presence here is to reinforce the message that says, do something about it. And in the event they don't see any movement or they don't believe that uh, they are being taken seriously, then the protests are going to continue. And that is the threat they are promising to deliver on in the event nothing comes out of the meeting that is currently underway. So at 6 o'clock, though, Joanne, we are going to have a briefing uh, by the national spokesperson of the ANC, Pulemabe, who has been with the, pro with the president since his arrival here. Um, they have just told us that uh, around 6 o'clock they'll give us a briefing as to the progress um, being made inside that uh, meeting and uh, the steps or what will then happen thereafter. Uh, there was a, a, a rumor earlier when upon our arrival here that uh, the president will address the community uh, once the meeting is concluded. But uh, that is unlikely to happen just given just how late he arrived here. He arrived, what, more than three hours after the scheduled um, uh, start of the, of the meeting. And uh, given the tensions but also the hard lining that uh, we've seen from both sides, uh, that meeting can easily go well into, into the night, actually, Joy. So, uh, Vuyen Voko, our senior anchor on the ground there, uh, talking us through everything that's unfolding. We're seeing that police presence being augmented by a number of large vehicles that have joined that contingent. Uh, of course, we'll touch base with Vuyen Voko a little bit later on, round about 5 o'clock. And uh, as he says, uh, a media briefing is due round about 6 to tell us exactly what progress has been made at Heritage House.